welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Today is Monday. It's currently about half five, nearly about maybe quarter to six actually now. And I'm just getting ready to go out because tonight I'm heading to the Manchester Opera House to go and see the pantomime. Uh, it's Jack and the Beanstalk this year. It stars Jason Manford and Ben Nicholas like last year. And I'm going on my own because Lawrence isn't a fan of pantomimes. The children, I think it's just a bit too long for them and too loud and noisy. The last one we took them to, they didn't really enjoy it. I know it was a few years ago now, but I just don't think it's something that they enjoy. Um, I think the only thing I would t probably take them to would maybe be the relaxed performance. I think they might enjoy that a bit more. But then I don't, there's no point of paying out if I'm not sure if they're going to enjoy it. So I thought I'd just go on my own. And because I'm going on my own, I can actually get the tickets a lot cheaper because they reduce all the single seat tickets to £13. So I think the seat I'm in should have been like £42. And I only paid £13 for it. So bargain. And I don't mind going on my own. A lot of people don't like going to the theatre on their own, especially pantomimes, but I don't mind. So I'm going to head out now get the tram it starts at seven so you're yeah, probably going to head out now um just so i get there and plenty of time i can show you around and stuff and yeah i'll get back to you now once i'm at the theater so it's a horrible rainy evening this evening tram's due in two minutes I'm a little bit later than I wanted to be, not too much. It's only six minutes past six. The show starts at seven, so hopefully I'll still be able to get there for about half six, quarter to seven. So, yeah, just two minutes to wait now. should take about 10 minutes so I still have plenty of time to get a program and show you around a bit so I'll get back to you now once I'm up okay so i'm in the theatre now i'm just in a queue to get a program so they've got like the usual pantomime flashy wands and things on sale but yeah i'm just gonna get a program Okay, so we've got my program. Now I'm going to head to my seat. Monroe H, seat 20 of the screws. Okay, so we're row H, seat 20. I'm just going to walk up here first and have a look around before I head to my seat because I think I'm in the middle. Okay, so I'm heading to my seat now. So I'm row H, seat 20, so I think it's the middle of a row. I thought you'd be on last minute, but... <laughs> this row. 
So here's Jake, he watches the vlog. Jack, been... Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, you've been before, haven't you? If you've seen it already. Yeah. You enjoy it. It's amazing. Yeah, he's got some signatures as well on his program. I sure do. Yeah, so we're going to enjoy it again. Perfect. Yeah. It's going to be great. <laughs> Okay, so this is the view from my seat. I mean, I know I'm in row H, seat 20, and I think this is a really good view, so I'm going to get the show starting. Hi, so it is now the interval, and I'm really enjoying the show, it's really funny. I don't think it's as funny as last year's. I don't think the story's as good as last, last year's, but it's still really good. I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah, looking forward to the second half. Um, and I'll get back to you now at the end of the show. Let me know what for. Okay, so the show has now finished. It was really good. Really enjoyed it. It's very rainy, so I'm gonna have to rush to the tram. 
and I'll tell you more about it when I get home but it was really good. So it's a horrible rainy evening this evening. Tram's due in two minutes. I'm a little bit later than I was, but not too much. It's only six minutes past six. Show starts at seven, so hopefully I'll still be able to get there for about half six, quarter to seven. So yeah, just two minutes to eight now. Today is Tuesday. Lawrence and I are just headed into town this morning. Look around the shops, need to get the kids some Christmas clothes, like Christmas jumpers and dress and stuff. So we're going to do that and then this evening we're going to go and see Life of High. It's part of Lawrence's birthday. It's his birthday tomorrow, so that's sort of part of his birthday. And then tomorrow we're going to see Hamilton, which is Lawrence is very excited about. Yeah. So yeah, we're just, get, just getting our tickets. Tram is due in five minutes. So we've just arrived in town now. Lawrence has just gone off to buy a lottery ticket. Now I'm just going to head into Primark as I want to get some Christmas clothes for the children. Hopefully they've got some in. If not, then um, if not, then we can. Uh, we are going to Trapper Center tomorrow, so have a look in there, Primark, and see. Because there's this dress that I really want to get Alice and she originally told me she didn't like it and now she says she does and she wants it. So knowing my look now they won't have it in her size. But we'll have a see and we'll have, you never know. I need to get Leo a Christmas jumper for his school play. So, that is the plan for today. While I'm in here as well, I might look at the Christmas gifts. See if there's any Christmas gifts I can get. As well, I've still got like my brother and my sister and all those little Christmas gifts to get. So, let's see what I can get up in here. So, they have quite a few Sonic things in and Mario things as well, actually, that Leo might like. I'm not sure if to get him some stuff for Christmas. He'd like all them. And that Pokemon one. And this, I know he likes this one because it's got that on the back. So I am tempted to get him that for Christmas. And actually, Alice has asked for this as well. So I might get them for Christmas. Oh, they've got some new Pokemon jogging bottoms in. They're six pounds. We'd like them. Oh, some Avengers ones. This is a nice Sonic top. I've got a new Mario hoodie in as well, on seven. So we found some Christmas jumpers for the kids. Alice, we've got this pink penguin. Bust the play. Yeah. Follow but the dress I wanted for Alice, not got in. I knew they wouldn't have it in. So I'm not sure what she's going to wear on Christmas Day now. Just spotted some Paw Patrol movie bedding in here. Not seen that before. That's not bad. So we finished up in Primark, we did buy quite a few things. We actually ended up buying Alice that bedding and it was actually reduced. So got that just walking through Christmas markets now. We're gonna go and get some lunch. I don't think we're gonna get it from the Christmas market, so I think we're just gonna go to KFC. It's a bit too wet to uh, sit outside and eat. But I'll show you some of the stores. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the food court, I think. So we've just come to the food court to get some food. 
Hi, back to the usual KFC. Lauren says, gone to McDonald's. A bit gutted because I've got a leg and that's one of my least favourite ones, but never mind. Hopefully this is plain. That's plain. Yeah. Good. Lawrence is back from McDonald's. Now we went for the new Christmas burger. What's it called? Big cheesy. Big cheesy. Big cheesy. Big Okay, so we're just going to go and have a quick look in Boots, see what gift sets they've got in here, see if there's anything we want to get for anybody. So we've finished our shopping now, we're just waiting for the tram. I think it's due in three minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes. Hi, so I don't think I got back to you since we got back from the shops But we got back and I got an email saying tonight's show we're supposed to be going to was cancelled We were supposed to go and see Life of Pi as part of Lawrence's birthday And the show was cancelled So I spent an hour on the phone changing our tickets And then I realised I changed it for a day that I couldn't actually go on Because I'm supposed to be going to a press night on that night um, It's not 100% confirmed that I'm going to it and My name's down on the list but I didn't want to like go to Life of Pi on that day in case I do get the tickets. So I had to ring back and the next, it took me an hour and a half to get through the second time to change it. So we're now changed it and we're going on Sunday instead um, to the matinee, which is better because then the kids don't have to be up late on a school night. So they, that's changed. So at least we're still going, we're just going on a Sunday instead. But it means we've got... We're not out this evening now, which is actually probably good because I probably needed a break because we're out tomorrow at Hamilton. And then I'm out Thursday at the great, fantastic great women that changed the world. So it's a busy week, really. So it's probably good that we have a little break today. But anyway, I think I'm going to go and have a bath now since um, I didn't have one earlier because I've been on the phone for ages. I'm going to have a nice bath and I probably will get back to you tomorrow now. I was going to show you the stuff that I bought from... Primark but the kids have raided the bags and I got them some new slippers I think I did show you look Leo's got them on here's his new slippers Paw Patrol slippers aren't they Leo yeah. lift them up again there you go Paw Patrol slippers that he really wanted they were eight pounds we got Alice the sky ones that match so she's got the pink sky ones so they were happy with them we got them both a Christmas jumper I think I showed you Alice is pink Whoa. with a uh penguin on Leo's is green with lots of different Christmas things on and then we bought them both some pyjamas each. And was that it? Oh, we got Alice that Paw Patrol bed in, which actually reduced. It said 20, it came up at 16. So, yeah, that's what we've got. If I do get a chance to show you later, I will. But I think Lawrence has put them all away. Um, and yeah, that's everything we bought. So I will probably get back to you tomorrow now, which is Lawrence's birthday. Um, and tomorrow when the kids are at school Lawrence and I are going to go to Trevor Centre I think we're going to go do bowling or curling or something and then we're going to go for a meal I like to say meal, like lunch meal and then we're going to come back pick the kids up from school get them sorted uh, and then my parents are going to pick them up and then we're going to go head out for Hamilton so it should be a good day tomorrow and yeah so I will get back to you tomorrow hi today is wednesday today is lawrence's birthday so we me and lawrence are actually off out today to we're gonna go and do bowling and maybe curling at the uh kingpin in the traffic center and then we're gonna get some lunch he wants to go to pesto and then this evening we're off to see hamilton for lawrence's birthday so he's really excited because he's not seen it before so it should be a fun day so Lawrence is just taking the kids to school and we're just going to go and get changed and then we're going to head out to the Trafford Centre and get the bus there. So I'll probably get back to you now once we are at the Trafford Centre. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. 
connection what we can be live with no distraction so we've just stopped off at greg's before we head out for lawrence's birthday bowling i think we're doing so we've just come to where's i've got a bacon bar and a drink lawrence's got a sausage roll and a donut we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go across to Kingpin, it's called, isn't it? Kingpin. Yeah, what well, is yeah. there? Small bowl and stuff bowl. Now uh, try that bowl and stuff. Yeah. So we've just come for a quick look in the Trevor Centre Primark, and they've got the Gabby Dollhouse Froze. But they never have cat rat on. And that's her favourite one. This is the bedding, but we bought her the Paw Patrol one now. What's that? And this is all the Pokemon stuff. So we're thinking of getting Leo some bedding. I'm just not sure which one to get him. I think that's really nice though. That's an option. And he's this nice big fro. And he doesn't need a new water bottle, I don't think. No, he's got a Pokemon one, but that's nice. I think this Paw Patrol fro is here. I don't remember seeing this one. That's a nice one. This is new, this little Gabby Dollhouse notebook. I'd seen these before a birthday. Oh, it's got a colouring book. I would have thought of that for a birthday. Oh, I'm tempted to get this for Christmas. There's a few cat rats in there. Mm. Three pounds. Tempted by that one. Some little Gabby Dollhouse stamps. So we've got the Pokemon pencil cases in. This is cute. So, got a few things for the kids. I was heading. Yeah. To do a bit of. Lawrence wants to try the duck bowling and maybe the curling. So. Yeah. yeah, online is an offer on. You play, play one game, get another game half price of any anything. So, <laughs> just going. We'll just go to the. We're going to play the duck, duck pin bowling and, and then we're going to play curling. So we're going to see who wins. I think Lawrence will win. We'll see. Okay, Morris. <laughs> yeah? Morris. He's actually called Morris today because the man missed him. Oops, what do you tell him his name? But he's called Morris today. So I got seven. Let's see what Lawrence can get. Give me some, give me some, give me 
some, give me some energy Wanna come, wanna come, wanna come, wanna come, wanna come dance with me There's no fire we lost, no way let me go I can see you buzzing like you can't say no There's no fire You only need to get three down to win. You win the whole game. <laughs> but so Lawrence is winning the whole game. I don't manage to be here right at the end. <laughs> Oh, I can still redeem himself on the curling because I'm now down to play curling. Go so along that one. <laughs> totally been through. Let's go. To the diet, sure. <laughs> okay, so our next game is going to be curling down here. Yeah. Okay, so we're now playing curling. The aim is to get it in the kind of centre. Not 100% sure how to play, but we're going to have a go. So none of us scored on that one. Too hard. Oh no, I played it too hard. Ah, oh, you're quite close to center. Oh, you might actually. Yeah. Should have let him win for his birthday. Okay, so we finished off in a kingpin. I won both games. I'm not sure they shuffle, but it's only been five, so there's me. So yeah, we're not quite sure why I got seven because if you added up the score, we both got five. five, but for some reason it said I got seven, so I don't know. I'm going off what the game said. So I'm uh, well, uh, I feel a bit mean, I should have let him win on his birthday. No, that, I don't like that. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna go and get some lunch now at Pesta. You want to go to you? Yeah? Asda first, we need lunch or something. Oh, you'll get Asda first? Yeah, we need Apparently, we're going Asda first and then we're going to Pesta. Oh, Here's Alice's favourite cake shop. Luckily, she seems to have forgotten about it and not been for a while because it's super expensive. Yeah, Alice loves that old cake shop. Okay, so we decided to come to Asda before lunch. We need to get Alice some boots, hopefully. We never have a size in every time we come. So, some boots for Alice. And we're literally just going to get her anything because she's just so fussy. She says no to everything, so she needs some boots. She's going to have to have whatever we get for her. So, yeah, boots for Alice and a birthday cake for Lawrence. And then we're going to go and get some lunch. Okay, so we've done a bit of shopping in Asda. We've got a few things that we needed for the kids. Now we're going to come for birthday lunch at Pesta. Hopefully we've got enough time before we need to go and pick the kids up from school. So I'm just doing Pesta now, just looking at the menu. I think I'm, I'm a creature of habit, so I'm just going to get what I always get. I'm going to get the chicken wings, the beef stew, spicy sausage and some garlic bread with cheese. What are you getting? My salmon. Uh, Tossed her ciabatta, topped with fresh mushrooms, and creamy dolled up garlic and white wine sauce. And this regular pasta, I think. 
So our food has arrived. I got what I always get. I got the beef stew, chicken wings, spicy sausage with potatoes, garlic bread and cheese, and then Lawrence has gone for some mushroom Mushroom ciabatta with... What's this one? That's your cheese pasta with spaghetti. Oh, is that your salmon? Yeah, salmon. salmon. Pasta. And this is his lasagna. So we've finished our lunch now and about to head home because it's nearly time to pick the kids up from school so I'm just going to get on the bus which I think might actually be here is that what the queue's for? It's queue for the other one there queue's for the other bus the bag like that and say happy birthday daddy thank what you what do you say thank you for day. good boy uh, good daddy cuddle mm, thank you <laughs> Ma, love you there we go what's daddy got off leo <gasps> he chocolate. got daddy some chocolate. chocolate no they're not the ones mama has because it's pink yeah. <laughs> and dad did you get daddy a t-shirt yeah yeah and did you get daddy a bath bomb yeah. <laughs> that dragon one smells so nice. Don't know if it's that one. That's the lump pole. Yeah, no, the dragon one smells gorgeous. I might have to get one. Seems my team was. Okay, Alice. You... This present is off Alice for Daddy. Thank you, Alice. Is it happy birthday to Daddy? Okay. No. <laughs> Got some marble socks. What else did you get, Daddy? Is uh, that the one that smells really nice? Pass me if you can. Oh, so that's not the one that I was fine. No. I also got you the, I gave you the nice one. I gave you the one I want for myself. Uh, uh, some, some chocolate. Oh, oh, I like chocolate. Oh, oh, now you're interested in you. Now, now he's got chocolate. Yes. Hey. Well, if you would have given it to one. him, he might have shared them. Yes, I'll share some with you. Okay? <laughs> oh, I hope he came for us. Alice. <laughs> this is the wow. card of Alice and Leo. Oh. Leo wrote Daddy. On it. Yeah, you wrote daddy on there, didn't you? Daddy? Leo wrote daddy on there for you, daddy. That's daddy, Leo. Yeah, Leo wrote that. Daddy. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. It's not our family, it's Pepper family. Pepper's family. No, I'm trying to tell you, it's like our family because it's me, daddy, and a girl and a boy. Pepper being the best daddy in the world. We love it when you play with us and we do stories. Lots of love, Leo and Alice. Thank you. Thank you. And then this is my no, present okay. to Lawrence. Happy birthday, Lawrence. I know you do. Thank you. Got some lounge pants. Yep, got some marble germos. I need some lounge pants for in this bottle. Yeah, smell it. That's what's so nice. Yeah, I'm a horse now. Yeah, I want to buy that one. That's probably the fourth one I'll go with. Hello. Then I also got what I need, I think. Uh, two that's your toothbrush because I need the proper letter one. Is that your toothbrush? I, I, yeah, I did offer to buy him a Hamilton hoodie, but he doesn't want any more hoodies. So. Don't do that. I'll say. I'll pull it aside in there. I'll decide when he's there. Give me a white hair in there. Yeah. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Okay, here's Daddy's little bit of the cake. We just got a little lemon drizzle cake. We put some dinosaur candles on. I'm just going to light them and then Daddy's going to blow them out, isn't he? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Okay. Blue. 
One, two. Alice, go. Alice, go. Go. No. Okay. Oh, Lydia! Well, well, well done, Lydia! Well, well done, Lydia! Well done, Lydia! Well done, Lydia! Well done, Well you want to blow them? Oh, okay. Alright, we'll relight them. Yay! It's a little while later now, we're at the tram stop. It's very busy, we might wait for the next one. We're getting the next one. It's five minutes. We make it for this one or not? So we've just arrived in St. Peter's Square. We're just going to walk up see if maybe we can get some food at Weatherspoons. Otherwise we're going to go McDonald's. There's the big Santa. And there's one. Okay, so we're just going to see if there's any tables in here in Paramount so we can get some food, but might be busy. So our food has arrived, it came really, really quickly, so I've just got what I always get. A buttermilk, chicken burger, and Lauren's has got ultimate burger. So we've got plenty of time to eat this before we need to head to the theatre, so we don't have to rush. Okay, so it's quarter to seven now, we've just finished our food, and we're just heading up to the theatre. So we'll probably, we'll probably go in and have a little look, look around the theatre. Might go up to the brand here and see what's up there. I think there's some like selfie spots up there and stuff, so we'll do that. And I'll show you around the theatre. And yeah, I'll get back to you in a bit. There you go, you can see the theatre now. Fine. Okay, so there's no queue to go get get in currently, which is good. I'm just go straight in, but I'm just gonna try and take a picture. Lawrence before we head in outside since it is his birthday and here's the box office just here okay so we're just about to head in Lawrence is looking at the price, let's see if there's anything he wants. I bought the magnet last time in the program. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't buy the program, but I got a program. Yeah, that's the magnet. You got. Yeah, that's the one that I've got. Yeah, bin side. Oh, there's a beanie hat. No, it's cold. I've got a marble hat. I've got a black sure you got two marble got two. So. Mug? No, I've got enough mugs. For scarf? Is that a lady scarf? No, it's I've a got a scarf. Pirate scarf. I don't need a scarf. No, don't want anything then. Uh, After about half an hour of him deciding what he wants. He's, he's finally picked something and he's going for a key ring and a pin badge. Aren't you? Hoodies too much. I have enough hoodies at home. <laughs> yeah. So we did want to take our picture in front of the big sign. Well, some but, people move, but still. Yeah, people still in front of it. Maybe come in the interval. There's not many people out about in the interval. Well, we'll come in the interval. Because when I came out in the press night at the interval, there was no one there. Yeah, so we'll be in the interval. Yeah, 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 we'll be we go. We're just going to have a quick look at the grand here, see what's up here. Yeah, so this is the grand tier bar, and then this I'll show you the view from the grand tier. So this is the view from the top yeah, of the Grand Tier. So I'm going to go down now. 
and they also have like a little moon stall up here in the ground here and like you can get snacks and stuff from here as well so you don't have to queue in the foyer you can get it all from up here we're gonna go back down now so we're back in the lift now we just took some pictures up there and obviously i showed you the view from the top of the ground here quite a good view actually from up there mm -hmm. might actually be a better view from where we're sat because uh, still are all the sorts of on top you know yeah so it was actually quite a good view from there so if you want cheaper seats maybe that is actually a good option the view's not that bad so we're going to go and have a look at this walk in the circle now so this is the circle bar and then i think there is a merch stand up here as well i'll have a look and then this is Hardy's bar in the circle. It's quite a nice bar. Well, anyway, we're going to head back down since the circle shot. There's also a merch stand up here. Oh yeah, there's no point hanging around up here if it's not open. So we'll go back down. So we just took our photos at the. Uh, but okay, so we've had a little look around the theatre now. So we're going to head to the stalls find our seat I think it should be open now So we're now in the stalls area, so that's for you. There is like a little merch booth here, but there's no one on it. So we are this side, aren't we? Yeah, we're this side three and four. Yeah. Yeah, so we're this side for row V seat three and four. So I'm gonna head in now and I'll show you where we're sat. Okay, so we are on row V. So the very back row is row W. So we're on this row and we're on four. that one, three and four. Also, this performance is captioned, so there's some captions there outside. Anyway, we're going to go and take our seats now, and I can show you the view from our seats. So, we will have a bit of obstruction from the overhang, so we may miss some stuff that happens at the top, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so this is the view from our seats. We're in on row V. Uh, I think I'm in seat one, two, three, four, five. I'm in seat five. So this is the view, which isn't bad, but there's no one sat in front of me at the minute, so I have to see what the view's like once one sat in front of me. But so far, not too bad. Obviously, you got the overhang from the circle, so you do miss some bits that are on the stairs here, but there's not a lot that goes on on the stairs. So you're more or less going to see everything. Obviously, you've got the I think are they light boxes there or speakers which block a little bit but it probably won't distract many people but that will distract me a little bit and then tonight it's a caption performance so you've got the captions at the either side as well but yeah i think the view should be fine from here as long as you don't get anyone too tall sat in front of you because it is raped a little bit back here but yeah yeah, so I got Lawrence's pin badge for his birthday to put it on his coat. It looks really nice. How much was that one? Seven pounds. Seven pounds for that. Maybe we'll do. And I also got him a key ring. Maybe that was eleven. How much was the key ring? Ten. I think it was ten. Yeah, he got the key ring as well. Yeah. So it's now the interval. I didn't have a chance to show you the view from the circle before. So I'll show you now. 
Ini susah. That's the view from the top of the circle. Actually, the view from the uh, top of the brand here is better. Anyway. Are you waiting to go in? No, I'm not going in yet. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to head back down to the stalls now. So it's now the interval. What do you think so far? I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. We got lucky, there's no one sat in front of us, so we got a really good view. Yep. The, there are some people cut off that are on the side balconies. Yeah, that you literally just see their waist, you don't see their heads. Yeah, it doesn't really take much away from it. Well, it's not um, yeah, so all the mace still a center. Yeah. For the yeah, price, the center base, so you have that yeah. going on as well. So, the price is six only 13 pounds. The view's really, really oh, right. good. Very good. Yeah, absolute bargain. That's why well, we got them. Yeah, there is some understudies on. There's definitely one. Lafayette is definitely understudy. Uh, I'm not looking to think it's understudy. I think maybe the king is. I'm not 100% sure. So I need to check. I'm looking the king. But Lafayette's definitely an understudy. And the person who played him, yeah. the original person, He's amazing, he's so funny, he's so good. He's one of my favourite characters when I saw it um, on press night. Um, I'm enjoying the game. This guy's alright. Yeah. I like the two jeans on, so I he, he really enjoys the king. I'll have I to like check the jeans on. and see if he's monster. I'm not sure. I just couldn't tell from the back. But yeah, it's really, really good. Really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I have to admit, I'm not enjoying it as much as the press night. I think just like press night, like the atmosphere was like electric, it was like really good. But still enjoying it though. So the show has finished. It was really good. Do you enjoy it, Lawrence? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Really yeah. Good. Really good. Really enjoyed it. We're going to head home now and get the tram. So we've just got to the tram stop. And this is our tram, so that was perfect timing. So it's a double tram, so we've walked right to the end. So hopefully we'll be able to get a seat. See how busy it is. It's quite busy. We had a really lovely evening 
Lawrence has really had a nice birthday. He's actually headed to bed because quite we're quite tired now. So yeah, I'm gonna head to bed now as well, and I'll get back to you tomorrow. But we had a really nice day celebrating Lawrence's birthday. Hi, so today is Thursday. It's just coming up to six o'clock and I am about to head out to the Lowry because I'm going to the press night of Fantastic Great Women That Changed The World. I think I saw this last year or the year before, I can't remember. It might have been last year and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to going and see it and see what the new cast is like. And yeah, I'm going on my own because I couldn't get anyone else to watch the kids. So Lawrence is watching the kids, I'm just going by myself. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. It should be a fun evening. Uh, there's no there's no interval at this one either, so hopefully I can last the full 80 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna head out to the tram and I'll get back to you now once I'm at the Lowry. So I'm just at the tram station now, it's a very wet, miserable evening, but I've got five minutes to wait for the tram. Okay, so it's tidy to get the tram. The tram has sent a tram today and get off at the War Museum because it's actually quicker. The uh, one that goes past um, Media City takes ages. This one's only two stops from Cornbrook. Then you just walk down this little walkway to the lorry, so it'll be quicker doing it this way today. Okay, so I'm just across the way from the lorry now. It's just here. I'm just gonna hurry up and head in because it's very rainy, so I'm just gonna walk across the bridge. I'll get back to you once I'm inside. So I've just arrived at the large thing, it looks like there's a market on today. So I'm have a little look around before heading because I'm quite early. This looks very interesting, we'll go and have a look. making music. walking up to the keys face now it's nearly seven now so I'm gonna head up And my tickets and a wristband. I've just got a drink. I've just got some orange juice. And just waiting for it. So it's about to half seven. It's ten no, to seven now. So I've got quite a wait yet. Hoping the auditorium will open at seven and go in then. But yeah, I'll just quickly show you. The bar here isn't open and it's not that busy, but I'll show you what it looks like. We've got press drinks in front of me and then over there is the press drinks in front of me. Nice and yeah. then this is my program. 
haven't had a proper look at this yet, so I'm going to a little look through it. And then this is my ticket. I am on row G C I in the stalls. Okay, so the auditorium is now open, so I am in the stalls. I'm on row C seat 11, so let's go down and find a seat. Okay, now I'm row B, C, 11. I see there is loud music on, so I'll have to see if I can edit it out. Um, but I'm in my seat, I'm on row C, seat 11, the view is fantastic. And I'll just quickly show you my view. Yeah, really, really good. There's loads of leg room as well in here. Look at all this leg room. Best leg room I've ever seen, so should be a really comfortable seat. There we go. Yep, just got waiting for the show to start now. It is a one act show. It's 18 minutes, so I won't be able to tell you what I can fit in the interval. I'll have to tell you at the end of the show.
sherry's over now. It was so good. I really, really enjoyed that. Definitely get down and see if you can. So much fun. Okay, so the show has finished out. It was so good. Really, really enjoyed it. But now I need to run and try and get the tram. I go this way. Out. So I'm just waiting for the tram. Now there's lots of like light exhibitions around here. There must be some kind of thing going on. We've got like flowers over there. Anyway, the tram's due in four minutes. Hi, today we are off to Leeds today to go and see the enormous crocodile at Leeds Playhouse. Um, the children are super excited because we're getting to go on a fast train and it should be a fun day. So we're going to head out in about half an hour. Our train's at half ten so we're going to head out about half nine. Give us an hour to get there. Should be enough time, fingers crossed. And yeah, it should be a good day. And I'll get back to you now, probably once we're at the train station. We're just waiting for our tram. It's due in five minutes. We're going to Victoria Station today. About 15 minutes to our train now, so we're going to walk across and go to the platform. We just got some Greggs to keep us. Uh... Okay, so we are on platform six, so we have to go up the stairs and across the bridge because it's a very far platform. So we just stopped off at Greggs. I got a bacon bomb. Leo got a sausage roll. Daddy got a sausage roll. Alice, I don't want a sausage roll. She's got a donut for later. And yeah, we've got about 14 minutes now till our train. It's early. So we're on the train now. We're all having some big donuts. We're just going to walk to the theatre now. The train was on 
time, so we've got here 5 past 12. Shows from start till 1. It takes, it'll probably take about 20 minutes to walk there with the kids, so we're just going to head straight there. So we've just arrived now, we're just outside Leeds Playhouse. We're going to head in, so we just start for another half hour. But we're going to go get a drink, have a look around the theatre because Lawrence and the kids haven't been before. And yeah, it should be good, so I'll show you as we head inside. Oh, hi! Ooh. Right, in this door. We're going to go around the side door because this is where the crocodile shows in this theatre, not the big theatre. So, we're going to go this way. We're going to go around this way because this is where they got all the like crocodile posters and things. just arrived now at the theatre we've got our a little sheet all about the show i'll show you that in more detail later we've got our drinks out just when we get a drink the kids got some chocolates out of the crocodile didn't you <gasps> did you get your chocolate out of the crocodile leo yeah if you get here ill enough you can actually get food here they've got some really nice food that you can get i've got sausage rolls and lots of different stuff so if you get it early enough, you can get some food. I'm just going to head to the bar now and just get our drinks with our drinks voucher. We're just both going to get a Diet Coke. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we're on road G. Oh, look! Here we go, Daddy, do you want to go in the middle, the far end? Oh, bubbles! Look at the bubbles, Leo! So you can go there and get them, Leo. Yeah? Probably if you're quick. Seats now we're on road G, um, and this is the booth from our seats. It's a really good view. It's running a little bit late, but we're looking forward to it. That kids are very, very excited. 
So the show was really good and we've just come to McDonald's to get some lunch before we get the train home but we really enjoyed the show, Alice did, Leo did get a little bit sad at the end and he, we had to take him out but he was a bit sensitive at certain things so I thought we might have to but he enjoyed it until the end of it. Anyway, we're just going to eat our McDonald's and then we're going to head for the train. We're now back at Manchester, Victoria. Now we have to go and get our tram home. I'm not sure if one goes straight from here. We might have to get two trams at this time. But yeah, I'm just gonna head to the tram stop now. Oh, tram, how busy is it? Maybe we should have moved down. Yeah, busy. Hi, today is Sunday. It is about half one. Lawrence and I are just about to head out because we are going to the theatre today to see Life of Pi. Because if you remember, it got cancelled on Monday and we've rearranged our tickets for today. So the kids are going to see my parents and we're about to head out now. So I'll get back to you once we're at the theatre. So we've just arrived at the Lowry, it's just here. It's weird to actually be here when it's actually light. Every time we come at the minute, it's pitch black. So yeah, we're gonna go and head into the theater now. Here's Lawrence, Hello. looking forward to it. Should be good. This was his uh, birthday treat that got canceled on Monday. So we rearranged it for today, so. No, Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday, sorry, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna head in now and I'll show you around when we get there. Okay, so we've just arrived at the Lowry now. Lawrence is just there. I'm just going to head in. They've got this light thing, which if you saw my Fantastic Great Run Change the World video, they've seen it all the at night and it can play music. It's really good, but not got it on in the day. Okay, yeah, I'm going to head in.
Okay, so we're in the theatre now. I had a quick look at the programme. Uh, it is an A4 programme. Um, I went to check out it's A5, but the information in it looks very similar. So I'm not going to buy another one because I think the cast is all the same. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go and find our seats now. So we're in the grand here. Okay, so we're in door N, which I think is around here. Uh, up here. I think we can go up here, Lauren. So it's at the very top. So we're going to go up here to it. Yeah. So yeah, like, we're sat in the very cheapest seats today. So I'll show you what the view is like from the cheapest seats. So yeah, it's a side view. And we do have to lean forward to see. But we sat here when we went to see Les Mis and we thought the view was alright, so thought we do it for this one since I have already seen it once before. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll show you this. I love this model of uh, the Larry there. Okay, so we're in door N. It's the same door I went in when we went to see 222 for the week. Are you ready? Okay, so we are row A. Yep, oh, empty seats. Huh? Oh, empty seats. Yeah, I told you there's a lot of empty seats. So there's a room on the other lot. Okay, so we're in our seats now. This is our view. So if we sit back, can't see anything so you have to sit forward uh, and bring forward this obviously is like this blocking is some of my view yeah a bit of a block but yeah but lauren says lauren says where he sat you got no block from your no block no right, because he can sit over there so he's got no nothing blocking his view so he's got a good view but obviously i've got this in my outline but like i said i've seen it before so we're only really coming for you wasn't we yeah so it doesn't really matter if I can't see it's it. Very bad. Yeah. But yeah, this is the view. Uh, like I said, this is cheaper seats for twenty pounds. But luckily from up here she'll be able to see all the floor projections because when I sat in the stores in Sheffield, you couldn't really see any floor projections. So I'll let you know in the interval what it's like. Now the interval, what do you think Lauren? I'm enjoying it, it's good, uh, it's good stories, yeah, since I, was, I saw the film, so I have no idea, I have no idea of the story, but I'm definitely intrigued by watching and the productions. What's your puppets. view like from your seat? My view is great, the only thing though I'm missing at the back, right at the back, there's bits I'm missing on that left right hand side, but is that's not really the story, yeah. that's the scenery, so it doesn't matter. Scenery. Yeah, but yeah, it's really good. Um, there's, there's not that much that's blocking me actually. I thought I might miss a few bits more, but actually it's not too bad. It's quite a good view from here. There's a few little bits, but not a lot. And I have to say it's much better actually south here, because you can actually see all the floor projections. When I came and saw it in Sheffield, I was sat in the stall, like halfway back, and I couldn't really see any of the floor projections. 
and they actually really help tell the story because you actually see all the water and stuff. So yeah. I would definitely say if you're coming to see it, try and sit in the circle. Yeah, you get um, height. So, so you get a bit of height and you can see the floor projections, especially if you fit that has a high stage, because you're probably going to miss it. And that is one of the best parts of it to see the floor projections. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Like I said, the view from these seats isn't that bad. Like You do have to sit forward, but as long as you sit forward, the view's actually quite good. Yeah. And there's a couple of bits that I miss, but not a lot. Sometimes the bar just gets in the way of a couple of people, but I think if you've seen it before, and plus you're a lot closer to the puppets, so you can see them a lot clearly. Yeah, clearly. I'm very intrigued looking at them. Yeah. So yeah, really enjoying it. So we'll probably we'll get back to you now at the end of the show and let you know what we thought. And yeah, we're so far really enjoying it. finished now it was really good i think i enjoyed it a bit more second time around but we're gonna head uh dad's picking up so i'm gonna go and wait for him and we'll get back to get home but the light swings are on now so i'll quickly show you the light things that are on the outside of our room. But we really enjoyed the life of Pi. It was, it's a really good play. I obviously seen it before. I went to see it in Sheffield, but I actually think I enjoyed it more this time round. I don't know if it's because I could see the floor projections a bit more, and I don't know. I just enjoyed it a bit more last time. I really enjoyed it last time, but I enjoyed it a little bit more this time. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun, fun day. Uh, I, I love it when I get to go to the theatre with Lawrence because we don't actually get to go together that much anymore. So it was nice to be able to go together. And the kids had a good time at their grandparents as well. So I'm going to end the vlog here. It's been a super, super busy week this week. Um, I'm not sure how much of what I've filmed is going to make it into the vlog because... I've got a lot of footage so we'll see how much I actually put in to this week's weekly vlog but yeah I hope you have enjoyed the video um, if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again next week bye